At 10.15 this morning, a large explosion ripped through the center of Chernogorsk in the northern province of Chernorus. An improvised explosive device hidden inside a stationary car was detonated, killing six people and wounding another 38, many critically. Cherno-Russian separatists have claimed responsibility for the attack, which is the seventh such bombing in the area since elections in February. The latest bombing is attributed to an extremist wing of the Cherno-Russian Red Star movement, led by notorious war criminal Andrei Lopatev. Since 1995, the Red Star movement held a large presence in the northern province of Chernorus, which they claimed as an independent country, South Zagoria. In 2007, government forces with NATO backing quelled the insurgency and brief civil war. Lopatev, whose campaign of ruthless violence earned him the nickname Akula, or Shark in Russian, has recently escalated his group's terrorist activities by means of intimidation, propaganda, and recruiting among the ethnic Russian minority. Mikola Bardak, spokesperson for the Red Star Movement Party, has denied any connection to the bombings and denounced it as an act of violence committed most likely by anti-Russian groups. Minister Alexander Baranov has stated that rapid reaction elements of the Cherno-Russian Defense Forces are to be immediately deployed to bring order and security to the region. Baranov insists that martial law will not be necessary as the military actions will primarily focus on insurgent assembly areas and training camps in the border mountains. Moscow has warned the Cherno-Russian government that any apparent infringement of Russian sovereignty during the proposed military actions may result in reciprocal military measures aimed at defending Russian national security. The Republic of Chernorus's president has dismissed the Russian concerns as unnecessary. Despite there being a relatively large presence of United States military in the region, as well as a number of NATO advisory teams within the Cherno-Russian Defense Force itself, the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Lee Sievers, has stated that no military will be involved in any counterinsurgency campaign.